The System 55 has only one 904A voltage controlled low pass filter. After creating a basic Minimoog patch on the 55 using the 904A, you have a number of modules left unused. If you want a second voice but you have no more voltage controlled low pass filters, what do you do? This video reviews some of the options available with the System 55. Many of these options also work on the System 35 and 15. Here are some of those options. Number one, a voice with no filter. Number two, a voice with one of the fixed filters included in the System 55, 35, and 15. For instance, the 914 fixed filter bank or the 923 analog dual filter. Option three is to create a voice with a 904B voltage controlled high pass filter. Note that there's no resonance on that filter. Number four, you could create a voice that emulates a voltage controlled low pass filter using a VCA and two outputs from the same VCO. How do you do that you ask? Let's review the patch. We'll use one VCO, one envelope generator, and two VCAs. First we'll make a simple filterless voice that you might use for a recorder or flute like patch. The patch will use a MIDI keyboard connected to the CMA1 MIDI to CV converter. The keyboard CV will go to the 921A oscillator driver and then to the single 921B voltage controlled oscillator. The S trigger gate will go to the 911 envelope generator. We'll use the 921B VCO sine or triangle output going directly to the VCA audio input. The VCA output will be our voice output. So we've got the triangle output going into the audio input of the VCA and then the audio output is going to the output mixer that we're using and the output of that goes to our mixer that we're recording with. Note that the 911 envelope output goes to both VCAs into the control input. So let's listen to that recorder patch. We're going to be using this 921 oscillator for vibrato. So that's our recorder patch. In a filter circuit, resonance is created by routing some of the output of the filter back into the input of the filter. We could patch the output of the first VCA through an attenuator to the input of the second VCA. Depending on the polarity of output and input that we use, the volume can get quite loud to the point of distortion. We might want that sometimes, but for now we'll avoid that effect by patching the output of the attenuator to the control input of the first VCA. This will create amplitude modulation, which will give a controlled tonal change, not unlike mild resonance in a filter. So let's look at that patching. In purple, we have the output of the filter going into an attenuator, and then the output of the attenuator going back into the control input of the VCA. So I'm going to play and adjust that attenuator so that we can hear that effect. This feature will create a simulated resonance in the pseudo filter that we're about to create. So let's add this pseudo filter to the patch. We take the saw or pulse output from the same 
921B VCO will use a pulse since we're creating a clarinet-like voice. Note that I've set the pulse width by ear to a square wave. Patch the pulse into the audio input of the second VCA. So there's our square wave output going into the second VCA. We'll use the same 911 envelope generator to control the second VCA using a multiple. We'll patch it into the control input of the second VCA. So there's our VCA output, this multiple cable, it's going into both VCAs in the control input. We'll patch the negative output to an attenuator. It's the first attenuator. We'll patch the output of the attenuator to the negative audio input of the first VCA. So here's the output of the attenuator and it's going into the negative input of the first VCA. Note that the negative output of the second VCA will become positive when it is input into the negative input of the first VCA. I'll open the attenuator as I play. Listen to the change in harmonic content as I add more of the pulse wave to the output. The envelope is set to have a slow decay so that you can hear the subtle change in harmonic content. I've turned down the resonance and the attenuator for VCO2. I'll adjust the first attenuator as I play and you can hear it act like a filter as I open it up. Now let me adjust the resonance. We now have a clarinet-like patch with subtle harmonic changes that correspond to the output level of the patch. Note that we could use separate envelope generators for the filter and the VCA, but it works pretty well with just a single one. Of course, we could just buy a second voltage control filter module. A multimode filter would be a good choice. I'm using one of these in my row 4 voice driven by the second 960 sequencer. Even with a multimode filter, the techniques that we use may be helpful in your other patches. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.